welcome to our School Point tutorial, the system that our Year 9 to 12 students are going to be using to make their course selections for next year. All the students have received an email with their logon details and the URL to visit, which is stjohns.schoolpoint.co.nz. So we're going to show the process of logging in from here, bringing your student ID number and then your KMAR password. So make sure that you have those details available. So clicking on sign in will take you to the dashboard. The first question it's going to ask you the first time you log on is indicating whether you're going to be returning to next school or not. Either option that you select will require you to make some subject choices, so please make sure that you tick what's appropriate and then head on to the next step. To make your course selections, click on the course selection button. This will take you to an area that's split into three parts. Your My Course Summary will show you the current 2019 courses that you've currently selected for next year. This is an example of a Year 10 student going into Year 11, so in addition to a number of compulsory subjects, they'll have some options to choose. As you scroll down, you'll see that there are courses for me. The system knows who you are and what courses that you have been studying this year, so it'll only display courses that are appropriate for you to select for the forthcoming year. To see the details on a particular course, click on it and it will take you to the course page for that particular course. In the course page you can view the course description, the teacher in charge, the pathway looking at this year and what courses this course will open up to you in the future, contributions and stationery that you may need for the course, recommended prior learning and then for senior courses the all important credit information a breakdown of all the standards that you will be completing within this course. You'll notice that these are colour coded and those colour codes uh, reflect back onto our vocational pathways. You'll see that the credits are broken down as to whether they're internal, external, whether they car carry level one literacy credits or university entrance literacy credits, that's the reading and the writing and numeracy credits. Many subjects have also gone through and completed what we call the pathway tags. These are examples of career pathways that may link into that subject. Each of these are active hyperlinks that will take you out onto the Careers NZ website to give you further information about those particular jobs. Some faculties have also included video content to explain their courses in a bit more detail. You will notice on the right hand side in this area here there's a few boxes that show you the courses that have currently been selected. Now in year 10 students will be asked to choose two compulsory subjects, English and Maths. Both of these subjects have two opportunities for different courses, internal and external courses. Any compulsory subjects must be selected first before you can go on to select your options. So you can see here that the students already selected their English and they then need to select their Maths. Clicking on the Mathematics takes you to the Mathematics faculty area. You can see the courses that are available. I'm going to put this student in for external. And you can see here, to select a course, you click on this green button. That will then fill one of your slots. So, so far, you can see that this student has got RE, PE, English and Maths selected. There are further three courses to actually choose. So we're going to go through and just quickly put some options in. And what we have here is a complete set of options that are made. You can see here that there's also a backup course that needs to be selected. This is only available once all the option blocks have been chosen. So this is the last thing to do. So go through and make your choice for your backup subject. And it says select as my backup course. So you can see now our options process is pretty much complete. There are a few things, however, that we need to go through and finalise before we can sign on off on our course planning for next year. Clicking on course selection will take you back to your My Course Summary. You'll see now that this is populated with all the options that you've taken. The first thing that you're going to need to do is to assign the priority to your option subjects. Don't worry about the course subjects. So in here we've got Science, Digital Technologies and Geography. I'm just going to put these as one, two, and three. It's important that once you've made your selection of your priorities, your preferences for those subjects, that you click on the Save Priority button. 
The final thing to do to register our course selection for next year is to click on the blue button in the middle that says complete my courses. Clicking on this button locks all of your subject choices in and pushes the information back to us here at school. Other things to note are that you can see a total value of the credit count for the courses that you've selected. You can see your backup courses. And of course, if you want further information, you can actually be clicking on the useful information link at the top to give an indication of our processes. That's our key dates for this year. So they're due Friday the 10th of August is when we go live on the system for all the students to start accessing. We certainly encourage all of our students not to be making final decisions until certainly after our options evening, which is on Tuesday the 14th of August at six o'clock in the college gym. And the final deadline this year for our all choices to be made by all students in year nine through to year 12 is 24th of August, 5 p.m. as we use that information to start cracking on with the timetable. We've also got some information on the subject pathways as a bit of an overview and you can get some ideas on how to go through and start making effective course selections through some of the additional content that's on our course planning website. I hope you found the tutorial useful. If you have got any further questions about how to use the school point system for our course selection process here at the college, then please don't hesitate to talk to one of your teachers.